Hi, I thought I'd show you an example of a completed child portfolio. So you have a model to go by. Um, this portfolio was submitted by a student. You can see that she has tabs along the side that indicate the different areas of development. In her first tab, she has the permission slip that was signed by the parent that is required for the project. Then you see that she has motor skills gross and fine motor skills, which is the first area of development we're assessing. You can see that she has anecdotal records. I do like that you have at least two anecdotal records for each area of development. Um, there's her checklist and there's an example of the child. So that's a work sample. That's one of the things that is required. Another checklist. You see that she has photos that indicate some of his fine motor skills. For example, you can see there that he is able to cut with his scissors, indicating good fine motor skills. So you need to have the areas that are listed on the sheet. And you can see that she used the evaluation form as a way to check off that she had the right number of items in each area. You'll notice in motor skills, you need to have four different methods the one with the asterisk, and then one more. The same with cognitive, language, social, emotional, and then your organization is also worth 10 points. So she had her org organized, we saw motor. Now you see the next area is cognitive development. And so she has anything in this area that fits under that evaluation sheet. Again, there's her anecdotal notes. This is the uh, part of the E-L-O-R-S, which is a document that is included in the portfolio. Um, you can see that this, this rating scale she used and also took notes on it, which is very valuable to get more and more information on the child. Then there's the language and literacy area, and she has the methods that is, are required for this. And in the social emotional area, this is where we have the frequency count. You can see she did a great job keeping track of how many pro-social and anti-social um, behaviors this child indicated, plus some notes. Here is an example of the time sample. She has the time across the top, and she used the key down here to indicate what the child did during every 10 minutes of the day, and she took notes on there. Now, she included the gold because this child was enrolled in a program that uses gold. Uh, this is not required for your project. So she just did this because this child was en enrolled in a program where this was used. However, you do have to have the last part, which is your summary. And the summary is a complete written evaluation of the child, of the child's four de de developmental areas uh, based on all the information that you've gathered. So you see that she took all the information um, in the four previous sections of the portfolio and then wrote a summary essay from that, indicating whether she thought the child was developing normally in each one of the four areas. So that's the last part of your portfolio. So again, four parts plus the summary paper. Make sure you follow this as your guideline on what to include in each section. Please let me know if you have any questions.